Good morning, welcome to Monday. It's the 16th of July. Um, another hot, hot day today. Apologies if you can hear the fan going in the background, but it's uh, pretty humid again today. Um, so I just thought I'd share another haul with you from the weekend. Um, again, I'm not doing the clothing. I might do a separate haul uh, on the clothing because a couple of people have said that they would be interested in that so uh, I may well do that but here's some more of the interesting stuff that I picked up um, at the weekend um, mostly wicker and handbags and, and and boots really that's basically what I got um, so starting with this um, oh ow oh that was sharp sharp little bit of wicker oh, don't like that um, so this is Ikea Fryken which is three little seagrass pots one inside the other obviously brand new with tags um, paid two pound for this um, it goes for around 15 pounds um, on eBay so that was pretty good then um, oh, a handbag I thought again I thought this was might be Kath Kidson but it's Katie I haven't looked it up but it's quite a nice sort of satchel bag I haven't looked up to see I haven't looked in it to see if there's any fivers That'd be nice wouldn't it twenties I'm not, I'm not fussy in any sort of money I'm doing, you know. But it's quite nice in size, got quite a lot of pockets and bits and bobs. Wants a little bit of a clean, I'll probably um, soak it or maybe put it in the washing machine or something. But no money in it, unfortunately. Um, paid £2 for that one. Hoping to get around 15 obviously I haven't looked it up yet. Um, a really nice um, wicker plant pot or bin. Um, nice vintagey looking one. Um, really lovely condition bit of grass in it but apart from that it's fine um one pound fifty that was um hoping to get around the sort of 20 pound mark for that um i'm gonna do this next because it's massive it's a big old um what do you call this stuff um, seagrass i don't know but it's a it's a rug anyway um what i liked about it is you see these plain ones all the time you know like you would use on a beach but you, I've never seen one with these colours on it. Again, it's covered in grass because it's been in a field. But um, it's in lovely condition. Um, and it's massive. I mean, I want to say it's about six foot. Um, so I think that's lovely. And actually, if I had somewhere to put it in my house, I would keep it definitely. But it doesn't really go in my decor. Um, that was a pound. Again, I haven't looked up prices yet. But it's a good profit in that, isn't there? Somebody's going to want that. The best thing of all is it folds up so it's going to be dead easy to send in the post but it's quite heavy so I'm going to have to check the weight the weight on that um of the same guy I bought um now I want to say this is an umbrella um stand but it is quite lightweight so you kind of think if you put too many umbrellas in it it's going to tip over um so maybe a a, a vase a vase a vase um you know to put the sort of dried grasses in or whatever but i mean i'm going to put both in the title um 50p so like real bargain um and of the same guy i love it when guys sell wicker because generally speaking they've got a clue um apologies to all the men out there but you haven't um and this is another sort of sea green sea green no sea grass wicker reed woven baskety thing with handles quite a nice size 50p so that was really good again i'm looking at least i would think at least 20 and maybe at least 20 for the um umbrella stand singing me bobby so that was those then um this is the first haul i came to actually i picked up these so um very nice fire trap is it uh did it have fire trap written on it in big letters i thought maybe not oh yeah on the, you weren't going to see it there it's like embossed fire trap but it's also there so fire trap this that bag's about to fall on the floor um 38 waist brown belt 20p so that was a real bargain nice leather belt there for 20p and of the same lady and they're identical and to cut on this they're brand new one size five one size six they're not leather um but they were 50p um, and the make is bonjour no b b u b b u b u don't know got quite a nice fur lining obviously not real fur um, but two pairs of boots brand new 50p a pair 
You're not really going to say no, are you? So that's one pair. Don't ask me which is which. And that's the other pair that I've got in there. So basically, one pound twenty for two pairs of boots and a leather belt. You can't really go wrong, can you? Um, the boots, I'm thinking ten quid. Um, and the belt, again, between ten and fifteen, depending on what I can get for it. Um, if, it, if it was a black belt, it'd probably be a bit more. I don't know. I'm not sure with men what they like and what they don't. Um, right. Next bag that's fallen on the floor. Um, another bag. I don't know. There was just something about it I liked. It's like a carpet bag. But it's like, um, like sort of velvety. I don't know. It's very, uh, it's very nice. I just liked it. There was something about it I liked. I haven't heard of the name. Shruti? Shruti. But I just thought, something about it I like, and I thought if I like it, hopefully somebody else will like it. Again, I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, £2 for that one. Um, and off the same lady, um, £2 for this one. Again, again, I just liked it. Look at that inside. It's really, really lovely. Um, no make on it again. I would think it's one of those, it's like very African inspired, you know, the design of it and everything, covered in grass again. Um, but just a really, really nice bag, I thought, with these sort of leather handles. Um, so pay £2 for that one as well. Um, haven't looked it up yet, but a Stephen King uh, first edition uh, book, Bag of Bones, that was uh, 50p. Um, and just the usual Lamar's toys. I just pick these up when I see them if they're cheap enough. I don't pay more than 50p for them. Uh, sometimes a pound if they're the bigger ones. And then I put them in bundles for like four or five um, at a time. And last but not least, one of my last favourite pickups of the day. Uh, two lampshades. Two matching lampshades. Um, paid £3 for the pair. So £1.50 each. And again, I just think they're lovely. And a pair's great, because obviously, you know, somebody's got a hallway or, you know, a big lounge and they want two or a big bedroom or something. You could have one as a, a you know, bedside lamp and then one in the ceiling. Lots of ideas, but I just thought they were lovely. Um, and again, I picked them up quite, quite early on. That always puts a smile on my face. You know, when you pick up something really, really nice and you just think, <sighs> You kind of relax a little bit. Anyway, well, I do. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Anyway, that's it for this week. Again, I did get some clothing. Only about 11 items. Um, again, nothing particularly spectacular, but good sort of bread and butter stuff. And um, that's it for this week. So I hope you're all well. I hope you had a good weekend of sourcing. I hope you're not suffering too much in this heat. And I'll see you all soon in my next haul. Take care, everybody.